Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do the Yupo paper secured to the Frank Garcia Manila, or excuse me, chipboard tag with adhesive on it. And I just cut my Yupo paper so that it's roughly the size to go on there. I'll do some trimming on it when I'm all done. But let's go ahead and play with our alcohol inks and our super cool alcohol ink air blowing tool, yes. Probably just play with moss and monsoon and be happy camper. It's that whole gray undertone that I love so much. Gotta get all those cool spidery lines in there. partial to the big bursts of air because then you get more spidery but if you're trying to control just a little blowout and help it to move and flow in with other colors definitely the um, less powerful bursts of air Drop in some colors. Just as drops. Thank you. 
running around in there. Perfect. Okay. I just didn't want to be left with like a ton of white. Posca pen. All right, so I'm gonna let this guy completely dry and then I'll come in with the Posca pen next. Okay, so now it's time for Posca doodles. I'm just gonna use my 0.7 millimeter white Posca for most of it, but how cool would it be to like come in and add in some different colors too, right? Kind of fun. Anyway, it's some food for thought, but I do really love the white. It is my absolute favorite. So if you just kind of come in and start doodling, to kind of help you.
flowers. You can even do tighter little spirals. I did really big ones, but Little cinnamon rolls. Mm, maybe I should make cinnamon rolls this weekend. You can even do fluffy little white clouds. absolute favorite and go-to really is the little white dots because they're just perfection. To get one side down, then you only have to trim a little bit. Good, I actually got on there. If you want to throw a paper towel on top just to kind of burnish it and so you don't scratch up and smudge anything on there, sometimes that helps. Pretty cool. Grab some scissors. so I can see the hole. Line it up with my crocodile. Some 
sort of a sentiment stamped on it and put it down here. I'm gonna think about it for a second and then I will come back to you. Okay, so what I decided to do is I'm going to stamp with embossing ink um, with the new Stampers Anonymous. This is the Field Notes CMS 396. And um, I'm gonna use this guy right here. This one says, number 7859, Crew Dispatcher, T. McGuire on it. So I'll set my alcohol inked piece aside. Wow Opaque Bright White Regular, and the embossing ink I'm using is Wow Ultra, slide, ultra Slow Drying. It's my favorite, because it does take a while for the ink to actually dry, which is really helpful for those of us that are like really, really slow at getting the powder on. And then just tap off your excess. Shape your excess back into your container. And I'm just going to go ahead and bounce this. Okay, so this one I'm going to use the Prima Color Philosophy in Sepia. It's a permanent ink. It's actually the perfect sepia brown. one strip but it was starting to go off the edge.
tape on the back of the other guy. this onto your character inspiration board. It's just a fun little project. 